Hi Taurus, welcome to your general reading for the first half of August. My name is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you are new, welcome, welcome. And if you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. It's truly appreciated. And if you are new, please do check the description box below. Any and all information, there's a ton of information down there. So please do go check that out about me and readings, decks I'm using. Everything you know need to know is down there. So uh, please check that out. And before we get started, a uh, quick shout out to all my new subscribers. Thank you so much. Those who have reached out for personal reading, thank you, thank you. And those who have blessed me with an energy exchange as in a tip or donation to the channel, it's greatly, greatly appreciated. So thank you, thank you so much. I couldn't do it without you guys. So I really do appreciate it. And I love doing this for you guys. So thank you so much. Okay, so let's get started for Taurus, first half of August. Let's see what we got for you. First half of August, general reading. All right. So this is a Zodiac Oracle. So we could get um, a sign, element, or a planet energy. See what could be around you, affecting you in some way for the first half of August. And whatever comes out here, if you don't resonate with this, that is totally fine. This is sort of like a little extra bonus. Stick around for the rest of the reading. It may resonate for you. So one card for Taurus for the first half. Wow. I had a bunch of cards flip, fall on the floor, and the only one that showed up right was Mercury. So I think that's your card. And Mercury is a Gemini energy. So you could be dealing with a Gemini. If not, that is totally fine. And, uh, you know, Mercury is all about communications, thoughts, ideas, uh, clarity, and that sort of thing. Education. It's everything to do with the mind and communication is associated with Mercury energy. So how that plays into your reading for the beginning of August, we shall see. If you're not dealing with the Gemini, you could have Gemini in your chart somehow. Um, it could be your rising sign or your moon sign, or maybe you know somebody who has uh, Mercury in their chart. All right, so this is a general reading, but I always say if somehow you can fit it into a love situation, then you're more than welcome to do that. I do uh, love readings also for all the signs, uh, bi-weekly or basically twice a month, you know, beginning of the month, end of the month. So you get two generals and two um, loves basically a month. All right, so let's see what this deck here. We will get your main message. What's going on with you, Taurus? What's going on with Taurus, please? Beginning of August. One card. Oh, that one wanted to fly, but it didn't quite. So let's see. One card for Taurus. What do they need to know? What's going on with Taurus spirit, please? Just one card. One card for Taurus, please, spirit. Just one. For the beginning of August, or first half of August. There we go. Rest and rejuvenate. So rest and rejuvenate and four is about stability so this could be um something you're needing to get back to uh somehow you need to stabilize your energy you need to um re well not re i don't want to say rebuild but you need to um really balance yourself out and to uh, get more firmly planted uh, you know your basis and your foundation may be a little shaky right now for some reason I feel like you really need to uh, secure your foundation and your basis somehow and really need to rest and rejuvenate maybe you're overworking too much um, that sort of thing and I believe this is the four of swords so that is about rest and rejuvenation just let me check on that this is like a tarot slash oracle so um i do believe that is the four 
of swords. Yes. Four of swords. That's what I thought it was. So, yep. That's, you know, resting, rejuvenating, spending some quality time alone, thinking, contemplating, um, and that sort of thing. Okay, so let's see what's going on with you. Let's see what's on the bottom of the deck energy also. Third eye chakra. So this is, and six is a very healing balanced number. So I feel like you, maybe you, you even need some healing because this also can indicate needing to do some rest and healing and rejuvenating. And the third eye chakra is all about trusting. It's the top of your head. It's all about trusting your gut feelings, your intuition, um, being connected to source, divine energy. Um, if you're spiritual, getting really in tune in touch with your spiritual side. And as you see, this guy's meditating. And I just had that thought, you know, meditation brings answers. So maybe you're really needing to listen to what earth and the energy around you because you see he's like in a forest here with the earth the energy everything around you is trying to connect to you try to tell you you know if you go for a walk or if you go you know sit by a, a, a river or a lake and you get you know feelings and things like that and thoughts in your head it's probably source divine your angel team your um spiritual guys trying to communicate with you and maybe you need to open up to that if you get random messages in your head most of the time it's your spirit guides and your angels trying to communicate with you and sometimes you think where did that come from you know what the heck am i crazy no that's coming from source and you need to try to connect in uh with that energy and open up that third eye chakra okay so Taurus and I feel like with the communication here with Mercury is maybe the divine source trying to communicate with you and you needing to connect to that and open up that third eye chakra if you don't know anything about chakras I'm not an expert you can go online do research there are healers that do chakra healing clearing um, you can look into that if you're interested I don't have any links or recommendations but there's plenty of YouTube channels out there that do, even on Facebook, that will do uh, long distance healing, chakra clearing, uh, chakra healing. All right. So, all right, what's going on with Taurus right now? What's going on with Taurus right now? Why are they sitting in this energy? <laughs> what's going on with Taurus? king of wands okay so this is fire energy but it doesn't have to be so the king of wands is a very passionate go-getter uh has a lot of drive ambition enthusiasm it's a hard worker so i had that sense that maybe you will work you're working too hard and the king of wands is someone that just goes and goes and goes after they want after what they want after their desire after their goals and their um wishes and hopes and dreams and it's like a non-stop kind of energy so i feel like you know whatever you're doing here you're, you're going forward going forward very passionately and you're not taking any time for yourself to rest and rejuvenate and recuperate in your situation so let's see what other energy is around you the page of swords and the three of wands so we have air energy here uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, and we have fire again. So you could have fire in your chart, um, or it could be, you know, maybe you have a boss or somebody over you who is a fire sign, who's very demanding of you, and that's why you've been working so hard. Because um, here's a page of swords energy. So, I mean, you could have somebody that, you know, as I was telling you what to do, is very, like, domineering and, like, you know, do this do that and that sort of thing with the page of swords and there's a very like direct and clear and blunt to the point this is about communication and you know maybe you've had enough also because the three of wands is about uh maybe you've been thinking about going in a new direction because the three of wands is somebody who is setting forth in a new direction but they're just waiting for now to set off in that new direction you know, they made the plans, they set the goals, they have it in motion, but it's just a period of waiting for the right time. 
So I'm, I'm getting two different energies here. So I'm getting an energy of someone very, um, like, domineering and almost kind of cold and, like, just always at you. And you, like, you know, turning your back to that and, like, well, you know what? This is either you coming into your power or this is somebody um, above you that also has this energy. And you turning your back and thinking, I think I might need to go in a new direction, you know? And that could be this rest and rejuvenation to really think and contemplate what you need to do here. Do you need to, you know, ask for um, less work to, you know, give them a little bit of, give you a little bit of a break, you know, and confront this person? Or do I just like leave and go in a whole new direction? So. Because I see you like turning your back on that energy. Like you're thinking about it. It's like you always think about it. And you start to make plans maybe and then you stop. And then you're like, oh, maybe I'll just wait it out, you know. All right, so let's see what your actual situation is now. So we have strength. We have the six of wands. And we have the three of pentacles. So, so strength is Leo. Fire energy, again, a lot of fire energy here. Fire energy, again, here. Now we have pentacle energy, which is your energy. Uh, Virgos, Taurus, and Capricorn. So, you know, this is about work. Working well with others, cooperating, teamwork, collaboration. And then you have victory here. You have victory, success, moving forward. You know, getting the accolades here. Maybe you just need to stand up and confront this person. You know, maybe you let them walk all over you. And, you know, maybe when they come at you, confront you, you just kind of back down from them. And now this is telling you, you know, to find your inner strength and courage and be brave. And maybe, you know, tame that beast, confront them and tell them how you feel, how they make you feel, you know, and that sort of thing. And maybe it'll work out for the best because you have the Six of Wands here, which is them like praising you, giving you the accolades that you deserve. Maybe in giving you a raise, giving you a promotion, uh, maybe even demanding a promotion. And this is like working together, you know, teamwork with others, collaborating with others, uh, learning new skills, um, mastering your craft, learning and building. So it's almost like you demanding, maybe you want this attention, maybe you want the success, maybe you want to grow, maybe you want to go on beyond whatever you're doing now. It's either leaving the situation or asking for like a promotion or a raise or something like that. And I see, you know, you have the energy to do it and to work, you know, work well with others. I feel you do work well with others. So there's a couple different things here. I mean, you could be um, turning your back on a very nasty boss or you could be asking for a promotion, a raise, or even going in a whole new direction and looking for a new career or a new job or something like that, I feel. If you do have the strength and courage to leave, you will be successful and you will learn and grow. Or if you demand for a raise, promotion, it will go well also. Or if you even confront this person, any way you go here, I feel, whatever way or avenue you're thinking of taking with the Three of Wands here, I see success. So it's up to you what you want to do, and that is the rest and rejuvenation. Thinking, contemplating, listen to your intuition, your gut feelings, your higher knowing and source. What is your gut telling you to do? What do you truly feel? Take time to listen to that. What will bring back your stability with the Four there, and what will bring you peace, harmony, and balance with the Six? And then Mercury here, one, five, six, that's double confirmation of needing communication, new ideas, you know, verbalizing truth, honesty, for peace, balance. Wow. Okay, so let's see what your advice is now, Taurus. So we have the nine of pentacles, wow, and the two of wands. So your advice is you have the two of fire energy again. Here's your energy of the nine of pentacles. So your advice here is you definitely need to go in a new direction. You need to make a choice. You need to make plans with the two of wands energy here. 
You need to really look at what you want to do, where you want to go, how you want to do it. This is about making plans, you know, going in a different direction or something new. Something has to, decision has to be made here to go on a new journey of some kind because you want to feel successful and independent and um, have growth and expansion and be, you know, self-fulfilled and be happy. So some sort of new direction, whether again, like I said, it's confronting this person, asking, demanding a raise, a promotion, or just leaving and going in a whole new direction. The choice is up to you, but you have the whole world in your hand right now and you can do whatever you want to do and you will have stability. Um, you need to get your stability and your independence and that firm foundation, growth, expansion, prosperity. So something needs to change here. Deci decision needs, needs to be made for some sort of new direction. All right, so let's see what your possible outcome could be. The world, wow, <laughs> wow. And this is uh, Earth energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, specifically Capricorn, but it can be um, Earth. I mean, you have Aries here with the bull, you have Leo, you have Libra, and I'm not sure what that is. It's, I think it's the fixed signs, and I'm not too sure what they are. But um, anyway, yeah, so this is closing out a cycle. So some sort of cycle here that keeps going round and round and round whether it's them belittling you or you not standing up to them or you not asking or going for a raise or a promotion or something you deserve or just like leaving and going in a whole new direction i feel like you need to close out this chapter you need to close out this cycle the world is about closing cycles and chapters and starting new chapters so you need to start a new chapter and you really need to think about what direction you want to go in because I really feel like where you are at now is not bringing you the independence and stability and the growth and expansion that you're longing for because you're looking out into the world for something different something more something better you want to learn and grow and expand here with the three of pentacle energy Wow all right so let's get some clarifiers now so we have the five of wands conflict Exactly, and I definitely feel like we're, whatever situation you're in now, it, there's just a lot of conflict. Whether, it's, like I said, it's with your boss or co-workers. Um, I think you're in a very conflicting stage right now and you're not sure what to do and it's time to go within and figure it out. Okay, so we have the Eight of Cups. So, you know, this is water energy. So this is an energy of walking away from something that is no longer fulfilling for you. It's no longer, uh, I mean, you're still there drinking from the cup, but you know, usually, okay, this doesn't satisfy me anymore. I'm gonna walk away and walk to something that is more fulfilling to you. All right, so let's get another one. Seven of Cups, yep, so you're blind. This is about, you know, indecisiveness, um, confusion, you know, like a daydreamy kind of energy. Um, too many choices, you don't know what to do, should I go, should I stay, should I do something different in the company, should I, you know, go in a different department, should I just leave, should I, you know, just stay where I am, I think you just, you, you, you don't know what to do here, very confused, um, kind of blind energy, Knight of Pentacles, so yeah, slow moving, slow moving energy, you know, not really, you know, getting grasp of what you really need to do, want to do, what direction you need to go in. Um, very, it's your energy, uh, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. So very slow. I think you're very slow moving here. You don't know what to do. This is going to be going on for years, you know, two or three years, and you're just kind of staying stuck there, maybe even more. It's like, I want to reach for a new opportunity. I want to, but then I, you know, it's like, yes, no, yes, no. Very slow, like almost just still and stagnant energy. Oh, Taurus. All right, let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Nine of Swords energy. 
So <laughs> air energy. So you may be laying up at night, you know, oh, thinking and thinking and nervous and stressed and anxious. And if you're not there yet, I think you will be there. Um, Nine of Swords is all about that stress, anxiety, nervous energy. Can't sleep at night. It's overwhelming. It's, you know, fair. It's all those things. And I think maybe you're getting to that point. This is the before tower. So you may, you may be kind of laying there thinking at night, but you're not yet in that energy where you just can't sleep at all. But, you know, that may be coming in the future. Oh, so we got a reversal. Ten of pentacles in reverse. So, yep, you're not fulfilled where you are here. The ten of pentacles is all about that uh, total growth and abundance, having all the abundance you need, being totally um, happy home and family life, being totally secure and stable. You don't have to worry. You have everything you need. You know, you have massive amounts of growth and abundance, but no, you don't have that in whatever state you're in now. You're not feeling that at all. This is your energy. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn with the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. So now we have the Four of Cups. So, yep, uh, you know, the Four of Cups, he's, you just kind of, you know, maybe you've had opportunities, you know, presented to to you uh, in the present time or in the past and I feel like you didn't even look at those options you know you just kind of stayed stuck where you were if you had op other opportunities and you didn't even like look at them it's like you're just kind of there you know drinking out of that cup the drinking out of the cup over here that you you don't like what's in the cup but it's your feel like it's your only option so you're just kind of ignoring everything else out of habit out of you know comfort maybe you know and just kind of staying stuck ten of wands so you know this is about being burdened and uh overwhelmed but you see yet yeah, this man's you know usually traditional ten of wands he has all the wands on his back and he can barely carry them where this man hasn't even picked up the burden yet so i mean things could get even more burdened somewhere you are now if you stay here or you don't make some sort of change because you may not feel like totally burdened now or maybe just a little bit but the tens are about completions and endings but then one is a brand new beginning and you know things could get very burdensome in this situation if you keep going where you are now or going in the direction you are in now five of cup energy so yep this is you know you're feeling a little bit of hurt and sorrow and pain where you are now you know it hurts a little bit but you know this always has the potential to get worse I feel with the five of cups because this talks about again like I said pain sorrow lost hurt and that sort of energy but like I said it's before tarot so all the cups aren't yet all spilled over you know and one is spilled over so it's a little bit of hurt and pain but not all five have been knocked over yet. And then we have the Knight of Swords. So, yeah, thinking about, and then it's, um, what's a page of swords say? So, Knight of Swords. So, thinking about taking action, you know, thinking about rushing in and just telling somebody off or demanding, like I said, a raise, promotion, or just rushing and saying, that's it, I've had enough, I'm done. Thinking it, but not really doing it. This is air energy. Yep, so here's, your energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Eight of Pentacles. You just keep doing your day-to-day -day routine here. Just working, 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 working. Same old thing every single day. Over and over and over. But here's death, Scorpio. So, you know, things can, if you choose to, come to an end. You can end this cycle and go in a whole new direction if you choose to. All right, so I feel like the choice is up to you. Uh, you really need to think and contemplate on what you want to do here. Do you want to stay stuck and bored, have no growth and expansion, or do you want to move on? Do you want to move up, move on? It's totally up to you. All right, so let's see what your advice is now, Taurus. Let's see what your advice is, Taurus, in this situation for the beginning of August. For Taurus, what is the advice? What is the 
guidance for Taurus, the beginning of August, for please. Can we have one card for Taurus? Okay, that one wanted to stay stuck in my hand, so pride. So, you know, you may have pride and ego issues too, like not leading on, you're unhappy or you're bored. Um, but, you know, 19 again is 10 endings, and then one comes after 10, a new beginning. So, you know, if you have pride and ego issues, uh, maybe, I don't know why you would be defending where you are now, but if you are, and, uh, you know, if you're pretending you're happy, if you're pretending, you know, everything is fine when it's not, that's like pride and ego, maybe time to let go of that 10 ending, ending the pride and ego trip. See what's on the bottom of the deck. Personal growth, exactly. Exactly. So this is telling you, you need personal growth. And I feel like whatever situation you're stuck in now, I definitely feel like you feel like there is no growth. There is no personal growth. There's no growth of any kind in whatever stuck situation that you're in now. Yep. And your environment and green here, you know, can be either the hot chakra or can to me represent material things. Um, you know money and that sort of thing so I definitely feel this as a work environment like you feel like there's no personal growth where you are now again with double stability here and seven again with that self-deceit of pretending everything's fine when it's not being confused like with the seven of cup energy here being confused um, maybe being defensive also Oh, and just kind of patiently waiting and waiting and just can't decide what to do here. But adds four, four, eight, and that is about taking action and movement and communication. So you can take action for your own personal growth here, change your environment, change something in your environment here, and let go of pride and ego issues. Wow. Wow, what's under the third chakra here? Wow, so here, financial and material changes. So this is the five of pentacles again. So, you know, the fives are all about change. So something in your financial and material world, I definitely feel like has to change here. And again, confirming that with the two of pentacles here, movement, choices, decisions. All this came up, needing to make a decision, a choice on what you need to do for you, for your future, for your personal growth, for your stability, your peace, your harmony, your peace of mind. Wow. Yep. Definitely feel like it's career oriented in some way here. Taurus. If this did not resonate for you, you could check my description box for past playlists and maybe you'll find something there that resonates for you more. Thank you so much for watching. Um, best of luck to you in your situation here, and I hope you make the right choice and you do what's best for you. And I'm sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always, always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.